Isn't it curious that with all of the information we could ever want at our fingertips, literally inside of our pockets, we seem to know less and less? I'm personally a huge fan. I love not having to remember things I don't need to know on a daily basis. However, since I care deeply about student learning, uh, I want to make a distinction between having access to information and actually having information inside of our heads. One negative side effect of accessing information online could be that it actually makes you forget information that you would have otherwise, and maybe should have otherwise, remembered on your own. Take this example. You're a student in a class about geography. You learn a lot of great information about Norway. And when you go home, you look at more information online, maybe to clarify some things. Next time you're in class, you take a test, and the professor is really interested in you actually being able to recall all of the information you originally learned. Chances are that between the two learning contexts, there was a decent amount of overlap in information. So you learned both in class and online that Norway is larger than both Italy and Great Britain. And your memory for that information at the time of test is great. However, I'm more interested in a situation where you learn something in class that isn't repeated online. So your professor tells you that Norway's temperate climate is due to the warming of the Gulf Stream, and by chance or by design, you don't see that information repeated online. So what happens to your memory of that information at the time of test? Well, this is exactly the question that we asked and answered in the lab. We actually found this astonishing effect called internet use-induced forgetting. This basically means that if you already know something about a topic and you look for more information online, you end up forgetting more of the information that wasn't repeated online than if you hadn't looked for more information in the first place. So we all love the internet, right? You might want to argue that any costs or risks to your memory um, for that information that isn't repeated online is offset by the big benefits that you get for seeing information, again, that other information repeated online. Well, reconsider the argument if you were going to make it, because we don't actually find any empirical evidence that you get a boost in memory performance for information that you are re-exposed to online. So while there are no certain benefits there certainly are risks to looking for information online in order to learn something. So next time you surf the internet, maybe in preparation for a test, surf it safely, Santa Cruz. Thank you. Yeah.